so far getting her drained down I can't zoom in with my phone and or zoom out and use flash with my phone so you can see in there in that daytime when I get this out well just how much junk is down in there it's a nasty mess and then the front of it there's a lot a lot so right now I'm just letting everything drain out so basically first thing in the morning I'm gonna get back at it I was having a little bit of difficulty getting this and the other one off I've had it off before I don't remember how I got it off so I'm gonna resume operations in the morning You ever watch that uh, that video, the old man that's got the, I guess the white, long white hair that just kind of like starts mumbling. He's like, ah, uh, 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 uh. and he's kind of like, ah, oh, well, you know, that's life. Yeah, that's me today. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another episode. Um, today is Moab prep more Moab prep so what I've got going on right now <clears throat> I started this last night I'm replacing the radiator and the uh, tow rig here and cleaning some stuff up I ordered a new one hopefully it fits if not then we put an old one back in but the reason why I ordered a new radiator was is this one has small leak somewhere but I couldn't figure out where and from my perspective it was leaking from around the, the, the little area where where you twist everything out or um, the valve that you release all the fluid it's where it all comes out so I opted to go ahead and change that and put me some new brand new fluid in it Xerix Geo5 formula. You got me six gallons. I think this one, the truck might take seven or eight. I don't remember. Oh, I got some water wetter. I also grabbed a 180 degree thermostat. I had a 180 in it, but I've noticed that maybe the thermostat's been sticking a little bit. So it had been running in the 190s, 195. And I swapped the thermostat out the day before yesterday and drove it around for a day with the air conditioning on it. It actually stayed 180 and below. So, uh, I'm kind of glad that I uh, changed that out. We got my fan shroud and everything right now. I've got it all soaking. I'm cleaning it up because there's a lot of road grime and buildup and whatnot. So, the process of taking the radiator out isn't that bad. Um, you've got to take the radiator, uh, detach the shroud from the radiator, and then move the shroud back, and then the radiator comes out, and then you can get the shroud out. That way you don't have to take the fan or anything off. So we're going to start cleaning this up and putting all this back together. I've got the shroud and everything cleaned up. <clears throat> decently well I mean it's all gonna get covered in junk again but I've got it cleaned up some got my shroud and everything back in I hooked this back up um, when I was taking this out uh, there is this plug right here I just unplugged it and then on the bottom where it pulls the fluid from this I just kind of unscrewed that and popped that out and it was pretty easy. I know there's a way to get both of these tanks off, but uh, it was easier for me to just do it the way that I did it for the moment. So new radiator, uh, nothing special, just an OE, just an OE replacement. I'm gonna put it back in. I wanted to get a, a triple core radiator, a big aluminum, full aluminum radiator. But the only company that I found that made one was Mishimoto. And I think the Mishimoto products suck. 
Uh, I can't really find anybody else that's got a lot of good reviews. Um, the yeah, yeah, I was talking about the thermostat earlier. So the thermostat, if you've never replaced a thermostat on any of these, there's three bolts, one, two, three, eight millimeters. This bad Johnny pops up, um, and new thermostat drops right in. You pop the other old one out, drop that one right back in, three bolts, bam, you can have it done in probably about three minutes. Uh, thermostat replacement on these things is actually really, really easy. So is water pump. If you never replace a water pump on it, I'll show it to you real quick. Water pump super easy. Uh, you can do it with minimal headache. Water pump right here, two bolts, bam, bam, done. Sign sealed, delivered. Of course, you gotta take the serpentine belt loose, but cool part about this truck is it's, it's really easy to work on. Super simple. Uh, mass majority of everything I've ever had to do with it. So right now I got that fan shroud back in. I am going to go ahead and get my radiator fitted in drop that in and uh, give you little bits and pieces along the way. Um, just to, if you're just tuning in, I know I didn't do this originally, didn't do it, really do an intro for it. Um, subscribe. Uh, if you are subscribed, like this video. Uh, I've noticed a lot more of you guys have been hitting the like button and it's starting to bump our algorithm up a little bit more. I can tell, we can see. Um, helps us out. All you gotta do is a simple small steps. Just hit like. If you're not subscribed, go ahead and subscribe. Uh, comment, drop a comment, what, you know, how are you feeling, what do you feel about the videos? I'm always looking for ways to improve the videos, give me some insight, tell me what you like, what you don't like. Um, merchandise link below. Go ahead and hit that merch link. Um, supports us. Right now we are less than a week from Moab. After I get done with this, I'm going to go get the trailer. There'll be another video on that. So, we appreciate everybody's support That's so far. Uh, now I'm going to quit rambling about this crap and I'm going to get back to the truck. <clears throat> Went ahead and slid the radiator and stuff in. It's very simple. Uh, the shroud has to go in first. I don't know if I mentioned all that or not, but the shroud has to go in first before you put the radiator in. Because if not, then you have to remove the fan and everything in here. But it's a very simple process. Uh, you got two bolts and bushings up here up top. One there, one there. That's what holds the radiator in. There is two spots at the very bottom that has bushings. If you line those up, they're not hard. You get those lined up. Um, then this goes on. There's four bolts that hold this on. You've got one right here, and then another one just under that. And then you got the two over here. This one here, and then another one down there. And then your radiator hose there, radiator hose there, pretty simple. Uh, if you have a set of, God, I don't even know what they're called right now. But anyways, that, that right there. <clears throat> so, what I'm going to do right now is I've already put my water wetter in here, and now I'm going to put my coolant, but I'm going to show you guys what the original radiator looked like. I did not know it was that bad. So that is rough so kind of glad I pulled this that's the front side of it that's how much junk you can pick up in these things and it's incredible that's the back side but it's incredible because you pick up that much junk when you've got AC condenser trans cooler and an intercooler so like how much better would this thing run if I could wash all that? You know, like what this has been stopped from that. So, I don't know. I'm going to go ahead and drop some coolant in here. I picked me up six gallons of Xerix G05. So, we're going to give that a shot and see how that does. And then I'm going to go ahead and start filling it up and letting the truck warm up. Gotta finish up these little bolts right here. Um, <clears throat> tighten those down, but so far, we got her full of coolant, and we'll fire it up and start the long process of letting this bad Johnny warm up. If anybody knows, it takes these trucks forever and a day to warm up. Go ahead and 
and turn the heat on full blast. Let it kind of cycle and bleed itself. And then I'm gonna to continue to top it off. Let the programmer come to. See what we got. Starting temps are 77. <laughs> All right, this might take a while. Well, seems to be doing pretty good. AC's blasting. Coolant system's doing all right. That 180 thermostat is working it. Before, I had a 180 thermostat, but it would run up into like the 190s range. So I think the thermostat was starting to stick. Been in there long enough. We're doing good. I'll let everything cool off and I'll check the coolant. situated uh, about all the work that I can do to the truck to get it prepared is done now um, I'm gonna start organizing once I get the trailer settled you'll see that in a different video once I get all that done signed sealed and delivered we'll, uh, we'll load up I'm gonna clean up the Maverick nut and bolt check it get it good to go we have got a handful of days left to go I think Recording today on Sunday we leave Friday some of the guys are leaving Friday morning I'm gonna be leaving Friday night around midnight 1 a.m. hopefully give myself enough time to get past Memphis before the Sun starts coming up and any type of traffic so everybody that keeps tuning in and watching and sharing the videos and stuff I hope that uh, you stick around and you watch this adventure and this journey hopefully all goes smooth Hopefully no uh, curve balls. I got 1,700 miles one way, a week in Moab. So appreciate everybody. Appreciate your support.